Hey everyone, it's Thor. So today I wanted to show how to do a marbling painting technique. This is something I just learned to do. So I did some experimenting and this is the first model that I've done it on. See if I can get this in here. So this is Steelheart from Steelheart's Champions Shades by our model. Um, I wanted to do marble basing and I did a little research. Found some great tutorials and I put it out to Twitter and I asked people for their opinions and uh, got a lot of links for tutorials they recommended. Problem was most of them were, they were great, but they were super detailed, they were extensive. It probably would have taken me two hours to do the marbling based off of uh, some of the tutorials I found. So I decided to do something simple and that's what I wanted to show was a simple marbling painting technique that looks good, I think. So that was Steel Heart. He's the one I experimented on. Bright Shield over here is the one that I'll be performing it on to show you how to do it. So here she is, obviously, ready for the marbling. The base color I use for the stones here, you can use anything. I was originally going to do white, and I, I didn't want to go pure white. What I wanted to do was go a little, a little down, a little darker than pure white. Um, so the colors I wound up using are what I did to kind of get to the stage you see here. You can see it's it's got some purple tints to it. Um, and obviously you can see the purple in the, the shadows, in the, uh, the cracks there. So what I did was I used the palette Witch Flush. That was my base coat. So I did that. And then I created a glaze with the, uh, the violet here. So to create a glaze, if you're not sure or not you don't know how to do it you can buy the salami and medium and then you mix it with um a paint or in this case a wash so by mixing the the medium with the the wash here it thins it out makes it a little more consistent and gives you a lot more control over it it also goes on thinner and, and as a glaze it just pigments so i i did that i created a purple glaze i glazed over the palette witch flush and then i came back in with the palette witch flush and blended that back up, leaving some of the purple areas where it would be shadowed, like, uh, kind of hard to pick up on camera here. Down in here, you'll see there's uh, some purple I left, some purple I left over in here. I just blended it back up, and I wasn't too careful, because I knew it was going to do the marbling, so I didn't need perfect blending to make that happen. So, that's where I'm at. Again, you can start with any base color. Um, I'm just kind of showing the, the marbling technique itself. The rest of it's totally up to you. So we'll kind of go to that. So what I did for that, to create the actual marbling you see here, first I tried using black on another test model. Um, what I did was I mixed black with the palette Witch Flush, the base color, and tried it. And it was too stark of a contrast. I didn't like it. So what I did was I mixed the Pallid Witch Flush with Eshin Gray. So I mixed that in, um, I would say it's probably two to one Pallid Witch Flush to Eshin Gray. It doesn't take a lot of gray to darken up that, that Pallid Witch Flush color. Um, so I mixed that in, um, and that's where I start. I'll, I'll show you where we go from there, but that's where you start. You just I just mix some gray in with the base color to get the darker. And that's what we're going to do to work with uh, creating the marbling. So we'll start there. All right, now that I've moved Steelheart, made a little more room, I'll try to uh, try to do this. This is my first time trying to paint on camera. And the setup isn't exactly my normal. So let's see, uh, let's see how this works. Hopefully there's enough lighting in here so you all can see because the the trick with this, why I'm doing it as a video, I'm also going to, or I'm taking pictures for, for the blog as well, is um, it's not so much that it's that this is hard to do, it's the technique I was using to create the pattern that's hard to explain. So I figured I'd shoot a video and see if I can uh, see if I can do this on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um, a small I'm using the Citadel brushes. I know some people have a love-hate relationship with these, but I've had good luck. Small layer brush from Citadel. 
that's what we're going to use to create the line. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my brush wet so that when I pick up some of this paint, again, using the, uh, the ash and gray with the palette witch flush or whatever color you decide to create, again, just mix a gray or a black in with your base color. I'm picking it up and I'm thinning it out so that when I create my lines, it's going to be very translucent, which is the key because you're going to build it up, build this up. You're basically going to blend. So what I do is I take that, sorry, this is <clears throat> very awkward on camera with the setup and come in and kind of do this. You see, I'm just kind of zigzagging the brush back and forth to create this random pattern. And it's so thin, it's really hard to see what I've just done. You can see it a little bit, which is perfect. That's, that's what I want for the first, the first layer. I want it very thin because I'm going to build it up. So I'm just off camera here doing the same thing, getting my brush wet. So I can come in and, and do the same thing again on another stone. Um, well, this I didn't thin it out quite as much as I wanted to on this one. Um, it definitely went on thicker. You can see that over here. And that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'll let that dry. I might like it. If I don't, I can just come in with my Palette Witch Flush and kind of blend blend it out a bit. So you really, you really can't mess this up, plus it's marbling. It's entirely random, which is kind of hard to master. <laughs> the first one I tried, it looked so precise that it just, it didn't look like marble. So again, just kind of keeping with the, doing the same thing, just kind of squiggle your your brush all around on there it takes a little definitely takes some brush control to do tort tight short uh zigzagging um but i'm just kind of randomly trying to do this here it's a little tough on this one with my setup here working around this camera but i think i'll manage so you can see I'm just creating that random pattern with this thinned out color. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've finished doing the rest of the model, getting the uh, first layer on here. Um, kind of hard to see, but again, that's because I was going very translucent. So the next step is just more of the same. Um, so I'm going to take that same paint, keep it thin, about the same consistency I did the first time, so really there's not a whole lot coming off. And then to come back in, kind of following what I've already established, and do the same thing, so I'm trying to be a little tighter with my zigzagging, so that I stay in and leave the previous layer that I had done. So, you can see on this one where I just built it up a little, starting to come out a little more. So I'm just going to do that over all of the ones I did before. Now on this one here, it's a little thinner than I like. So what I'm going to do is um, Again, the same thing, except I'm going to go a little wide so that I, I make this wider and kind of blend it out a little more. And then uh, this one's already pretty dark, so I don't need to do much on that one. And just doing this all around. Sorry, it's hard to uh, talk and paint. This is all very new to me. All right, so you can see 
Sorry, hard to get that camera lighting right. You can see it's getting darker and it's uh, starting to starting to come together. So I'm going to cut here, do the rest of them, and uh, show you the next step, which is again more of the same. All right, so now that I've done the second layer with this gray and pallid witch flesh, I'm going to take the same color and not nearly as thinned out, not quite straight, without anything thinning, but not very thin either because I need to draw a thin line in the middle of this <clears throat> to define it. So again, just following what I've already established, try to come in and draw a squiggly line inside the squiggly lines near the middle <clears throat> to define it. God, sorry, that lighting really does not work out well for this. So, that's all I'm doing. And if I don't get it, if it's not dark enough, just come back in, try it again. I don't think I quite got it where I wanted it. And even though it's not as thin, I'm using a light touch just to not glob it on there. So you can see it in there. So I'm doing the same thing to the other ones, just defining what I've already established. Some of these I'm going to be fixing, so I'll show you that as well. Some of them I'm not 100% happy with how they came out, which is fine. Marbling is random, but it doesn't mean you're always going to like it. So. So I'll just cut, finish doing that, show you what that looks like, be back in a moment. Alright, so I've gone through, tried to draw the line in the middle, <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice here. So that's, that's where she is at, so it's almost done. I'm going to come in, taking this base coat, the palette witch flush, thinned out, and I'm going to try to fix a few things I'm not liking. Some of these lines are a little too perfect. It might not seem that way, but, um, and some of them came out a little thicker all around than I wanted. So by taking the witch flush, I'm going to come in kind of doing the same thing and, uh, kind of zigzag around the edges to kind of rough them up and also to, to blend it out. Hard to pick up on camera. I apologize, I really do not have a good setup for this, which is why I haven't done a video tutorial before. I know this lighting is a bit much. So, um, just any of them I feel that aren't, I'm not happy with. I just take that and kind of feather it out, basically kind of smooth it and uh, <clears throat> lighten the color up a bit so I think that's good. So now what I'm going to do go 
but that is really bright. Now what I'm going to do is come back in with that, that gray mix with the Pallid Witch Flush and kind of go back over what I was just blending out to kind of reestablish it. Basically I'm just, I'm feathering them, I'm, I'm blending it a bit. Um, I want to get that thinner gray worked out a little more. So I'm kind of going out off to the side a bit to widen it um, and this layer is very thin so it's just going to it's going to be very translucent translucent and it should uh should blend in pretty well oh, try to get this on camera I apologize I realize I keep hitting the camera with my brush too I really need a better setup so I'm just kind of reestablishing that All right, that's working pretty decent. So now I'm going to, I'm going to come back into the middle here, try to darken this up. And I'm still not completely happy with this one over here. So, it's taking some of my witch flesh and again, I'm just gonna kinda blend this out. This is what makes creating marble tricky in my opinion. It's not the technique, it's getting patterns that look properly random, um, which is why I like doing that sort of zigzag thing. The lines aren't perfect. But still, just the pattern itself is the tricky part. So I'm liking that better. It's blending out more, it's thinning the line out more. It's looking a lot better. Um, Alright, I've tried moving the light away, trying to get this as a better setup, but it's about the best I can do, I apologize. But you can see, see the effect we've created here a little better, I think. So, you know, not the best marbling technique in the world you're going to find out there, but it's easy to do. Uh, the results are, are good. Um, you know, if you're going to do a whole bunch of these, I'm doing three for the warband I'm painting, then it works out great. I don't want to spend, you know, two hours just working on the marbling on one of these models. And, uh, I mean, I have to admit that I do like the way it came out more on Steelheart here. Um, you can see his marbling, but he's got larger stones. So it works better, I find, on the larger stones. When you're doing this technique and you're dealing with the smaller ones, it's tricky. It's hard to not overpower the the stones with the, the pattern. Um, but that would be natural. I mean, the pattern is going to be the same, and then the stones are cut down. It's still the same pattern, so I'm trying to remain consistent with what I was doing here, um, so that it looks consistent between these two. Let's see if I can get them in for a shot here. Um, so, and again, anything I don't like, I can just come in with the base coat and thin it out, try to fix a line, and do it from there. But I think I'm going to leave what I've done here on her. The only thing I have left to do, which is why I didn't go with the pure white, is come in with a white and do an edge highlight. Nothing special there. I won't bother shooting this on camera. I'm just going to take white, go around the edges of the stones to get it to pop a little bit, and I'll show you that. All right, so I've gone ahead and done the edge highlighting on here. Of course, it's not very distinct considering pallid witch flush is pretty close to white just with uh, some purple tints so that's all I've done here um, 
since we last, since I last showed you anything. Again, this lighting is terrible. What I'm going to do is I'll have pictures up on the blog that are going to look a whole lot better. So if you want to see really the better idea of what this really looks like, then definitely head to the blog. I'll put that link in the description. So there you have it. Um, yeah, again, it's, it's pretty simple. The results are pretty good. You can work with any colors you want. Again, the biggest thing I was trying to illustrate really with this is the 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 sort of zigzag technique. There's no paint on here. You know, just taking the brush and kind of doing this in short control burst to, to create a, a not straight pattern. That's really what it is. I'm sure somebody can do this better than I can. This is, this base is my third attempt at doing this. I just thought I'd shoot a tutorial for other people who are interested in it. Maybe it'll get you down the right road. It's definitely not going to create the the coolest looking marbling bases you've ever seen, um, but I think the results are, are pretty decent. Uh, so here the two of them are. Um, <laughs> I can't do anything on camera here. So here they are. Again, definitely go to the blog to see better pictures of these. I have a third model I need to do, so I'm going to do that. And then I'll uh, probably put pictures of all of them just so you can see the randomness of all of this. And that's it. Um, this is technically the second tutorial I've done on YouTube, though it's the first one I've done anything on camera. I really want to get a better setup. Um, but hopefully you guys got an idea. Hopefully this wasn't the worst thing in the world. Hope you liked it. Catch you all later. Thanks. Thank you.